Good night, everybody. I want you to share this with everybody. I am absolutely overwhelmed with joy. And I have to share this. My family went out tonight to go to church. So I was left home by myself. So I called my son and I said, I called my son, I called everybody and I said, y'all home and y'all come back home. They said, no, we ain't come back home. I said, well, doors closing. I said, and I heard the window. I heard the sliding door close. I hear room doors closing. I said, I said, y'all sure y'all in the house? So I didn't see anybody. I went out. I looked through the sliding doors. I didn't see anyone. I looked through the windows. I didn't see anyone. So um, 10 minutes later, my daughter was in the house. So I said, I, I said, you, Abby, that's you? So she said, yeah. So I began to think to myself, but if you just reach who that was 10 minutes ago in my house, listen to me. I got on makeup. I mean, trying to get tear up. I walk outside to my car. I walk outside to my car to leave about 20 minutes later. So a young man walks in my driveway and I was alert. So I jumped and he said, I want to apologize to you. I said, apologize to me for what? Because I'm trying to figure out what is he even doing in my driveway? And he says, I came tonight. He said, I came tonight to rob you. And he lift up his shirt and he showed me the gun. Y'all, this just happened. He lift up the shirt. He lift up his shirt, showed me the gun. He said, I came to rob your house. He said, but I remembered when you had the feeding thing at your church you fed me and my children he said when you looked out the sliding door he said i was right by the door he said i looked in your face and i remembered you feed me and my children he said you fed me and my children he said and i looked in your face and he said i could not rob you y'all didn't hear me this man had a gun in my driveway jesus and you can tell me god in a keeper oh god oh God, listen to me. This man lift up his shirt, showed me the gun, showed me the gun. Say he came to rob me. Y'all didn't hear me. He didn't know who house he was coming to. And he walked away and I called him back and I said, sir. I said, everything I have in my bag, I want to give you. He said, no, I ain't robbing you. He said, I ain't going to do that. He said, if you want to go to the police, go to the police. I said, no, I ain't going to the police because God is my keeper. I gave that man the last $300 in my bag. That money I gave him was my son's school fee. I said, I'm going to put $300 in my son's school fee tomorrow. And listen here, I gave that man that $300. And that man break down on the floor crying. He said, you know why I was robbing you? He said, I was robbing you because I don't have nothing to give my children. I said, so... Not only am I going to give you this $300, he said, but I said, give me your address. I said, I come in there in the morning to bring the grocery. I said, yeah, light on. He said, no. I said, I'm going to turn on the light tomorrow. Listen to me. If my son was there, if anybody in my house was there, they probably would have killed him. But God had a different plan. I am, listen, when I saw that black gun and I know someone was in my house, God is a keeper. Y'all hear me? Y'all got to serve, serve God. Who God keep is well kept. Jesus, Job 5 and 19 say God will keep you again and again. And I believe that y'all be encouraged. I got to go give God some praise tonight.